Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the One Room Bunkhouse at the camp in Magnolia Springs, Texas. It is a great morning to be alive today. Friday, December the 8th, 2023. You guessed it, at or about 6.05 a.m. And this morning we find ourselves in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5, and the breakfast biscuit is entitled, Neither Useless Nor Unfruitful. Neither Useless Nor Unfruitful. So, let's ask ourselves this. Would Scripture describe someone as useless and unfruitful? Seems harsh, doesn't it? Well, how about Amos chapter 4, verse 1, where Amos describes a group of women as the cows of Bashan? Yes. Yes, the Bible uses direct language, and truth is direct at times. For the scripture to use the words useless and unfruitful, something serious must be at stake. So take a listen to what the Apostle Peter had to say. Now, for this very reason also, Applying all diligence in your faith, supply moral excellence, and in your moral excellence, knowledge, and in your knowledge, self-control, and in your self-control, perseverance, and in your perseverance, godliness, in your godliness, brotherly kindness, and in your brotherly kindness, love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they render you neither useless nor unfruitful in the true knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacks these qualities is blind or short-sighted, having forgotten his purification from his former sins. So what's this very reason that Peter alludes to? It's, uh, it's found in verse 4. For by these he has granted us to his precious and magnificent promises, so that by them, you ready? Here comes the reasons, twofold so that by them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world by lust. So, you still there? I hope so. Uh, those are some pretty high stakes. For us to become partakers of the divine nature, full of the Holy Spirit, and to have escaped the corruption that is in the world by lust. Those are high stakes. How do we do it? Let's recount what the Apostle Peter said. Apply all diligence in your faith. All diligence means staying at it, work. In your faith, supply moral excellence, which means that you are not living the life of lust and corruption. In your faith, supply moral excellence. In your moral excellence, supply knowledge, meaning knowledge of Christ and the things of God. In your knowledge, Self-control, remember that's the last fruit of the Holy Spirit and some summarizes all of the preceding fruits of the Holy Spirit. In your knowledge, self-control. In your self-control, perseverance, staying at it. In your perseverance, godliness. In your godliness, brotherly kindness. And in your brotherly kindness, love. Remember, the greatest of these is love. So would you ask this morning the Holy Spirit to show you if you are useful? Hope you're still there. Would you ask the Holy Spirit to show you if you are useless and unfruitful or useful and fruitful? You could ask the Holy Spirit to show you examples of your usefulness and the fruit your life and ministry have borne. That would be reassuring. And if there's little to no evidence for usefulness and fruit, by the grace of God and the words of St. Peter, we know what to work on. And the Holy Spirit starts with us wherever we are to move us to the point of being useful and fruitful in his hands. Let me pray for you. Father God, help us to see these direct words, to apply them to our lives, and to become useful and fruitful in your sight. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So come see me this weekend at our home in the Holodome on Walden Road, 10 a.m. for a great We're looking at the difference between adultery and lust, and what Jesus had to say on it in the Sermon on the Mount. So remember, as always, wait, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you, and may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. God bless you.